Today we're going to be crossing the border into Uruguay. Whee! Oh no, they turned us away from the Uruguay border. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Oli. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning. We had a really, really amazing campsite last night. It was really romantic. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 226 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We are here at a petrol station at the very bottom of Brazil, just before the border to Uruguay, where the kind owners allowed us to pitch our tent here on the grass at the edge. Thanks so much guys, really, really appreciate that. Yeah, it was actually quite an okay night. There wasn't too much night traffic. There are quite a few trucks at the moment around, but it was actually okay. Yes, yes. But let me show you guys the route for today. Okay, so nearly 40 days after leaving Rio de Janeiro, we have made our way. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you can't sit on my map. Hey! All right, fine. Where are we then? Go on, tell us. Oh, I can't be mad at you. Very a cutie, woody. Okay, so nearly 40 days after leaving Rio de Janeiro, coming all the way down the coast, we are now here in Santa Victoria do Palma, just next to the border of Uruguay. These dogs. <laughs> No, 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 no. This is really hard to film with these dogs around. Look how much they're screwing up our map. Okay, just show me, just show me the very bottom. We are at Santa Victoria do Palma, and I can't really show you where we're heading today because it's off the map, but it's basically south. So we had a free night of accommodation last night and now we can treat ourselves to something nice. We have a coffee and a cheese pasty. Pretty awesome. <laughs> but not for you, chicken. <laughs> Get out of here. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Let's hit the road, Jack. Oh no, Oli. <laughs> Our beautiful home for the night. <laughs> oh. Obrigado. 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 Ciao, ciao. ciao. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> so friendly. Our last ride in Brazil. Wow. Yeah, and it might be a rainy ride. The forecast doesn't look great and we had a little bit of rain this morning. But yes, the border is not far away. So soon we have to deal with all that. And then we'll be in Uruguay. After about 40 days of riding here in Brazil and almost having spent three months in total. A month and a half of that was before Bumblebee had even arrived. Yes. Just waiting. Waiting. But yes, we uh, have spent a bit more time in Brazil than we had expected. It was definitely an amazing 40 days riding around here, exploring all the way from Rio de Janeiro down to the border here of Uruguay. I think we have explored this area. We have ridden the mountains, we have been to the beaches and all of the beautiful forests in between. We saw a lot of animals. I cannot believe we were lucky enough to see a sloth. Yes. I can't believe we were lucky enough to see alligators, capybaras, 
pumpkins, flamingos. They had also meeting a lot of locals here, riding around with no locals and staying at places from friends. It's really cool as well. We had a lot of nice camps here and a lot of nice rooms. Yeah, definitely five star rooms and five star views in our camps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is starting to rain. So we are going to stop and put our rain clothes on. Recita Federal. Looks like we might be coming up to some sort of customs. Okay, let's just go straight now. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what we've got to do here. Hola. Hola. Uh. Bon dia. Bon dia. Uh, where, where are we going? Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Estacionamento. Okay. Obrigado. How's that? Perfect. Okay, so let's see what we've got to do here. Awesome. So that was super easy only took about 10 minutes we just had to give the passports to one window and they stamped us out all good and then in another window i gave them the temporary import permit for the bike that we got at the customs in the port of rio success and uh, they just stamped that and said yeah you've exited and that was it we had just two days left here in brazil <laughs> <laughs> we really really maxed out our visa i tell you Oh, bye bye Brazil. That's it. Stamped out. So now we are actually stamped out and not stamped in into Uruguay yet. So we are like nowhere. <laughs> yeah, we could stay in this area uh -huh. for as long as we wanted. Like unlimited. You're not existing actually. Yeah. This is like officially like no man's land. It's always interesting hey, to see like these areas in between countries. Yeah, I mean, basically the whole town of Chuy is after the border of Brazil and before the border of Uruguay. Crazy. Yeah, that's kind of weird, no? Yeah, it is. But you can see the amount of truckers that are here. Wow, so many trucks. Yeah, uh, here we are already. Republica Oriental del Uruguay. Look at that. Super cool. <laughs> but we can't officially say that we're in Uruguay yet. We haven't done any research into what we have to do to cross this border with the motorbike. But I believe that if we can get through importing the bike into Rio de Janeiro, <laughs> then we can get through anything. <laughs> yes, you can see here on the left these little hills. A whole field full of little little hills. Yeah, what is that about? I'm gonna guess that it's to do with some sort of groundhog or some sort of it rodent so animal. Interesting. Either that or an old forest that's been chopped down. Do you think so? That's my two guesses. You guys can write in the comments if you have any other ideas. <laughs> okay, this looks like our border post. Well, I'm sure somebody will tell us something here. Yeah. Is there one? Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, we've parked up. I want to go bring the documentation over to those guys and see what happens. So they've just stamped my passport in. Woohoo! And now Lavi's gone to do her part. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh no, they turned us away from the Uruguay border. So they told us that we need an insurance policy to enter Uruguay. We didn't have it. So they said, luckily we can get it in the town of Choi, which is just in front. We are gonna make our way over there. They recommended a couple of companies. So we'll head into Choi and we'll look and see if they're open and see if we can get ourselves an insurance. 
Fingers crossed! <laughs> so we're like halfway there. We've been stamped into Uruguay, stamped out of Brazil. Last thing is just to get our beloved bumblebee over the border. Yes! This is Choi! The town in between two countries. So this is the place that the guy at the counter told us to go to, BSE. It's like the Banco Seguranza, so it's like the insurance place. And uh, these guys don't open for another hour, they open at midday, so... <laughs> okay, I think it's just about time to get in. Good luck. Okay, so we got an invoice because uh, we can't pay there. Now we have to go over to an invoice paying place that he's given me the address. And we've got to pay this in and come back to him to prove that we've paid and that should be everything for the insurance. Okay, so I went to try to pay the invoice, but unfortunately my card, our card, did not work. They only take Uruguayan cards. So then I tried to withdraw cash from the bank, Uruguayan bank, and that didn't work at all. And apparently it's the only bank in town. So we had to go to the... Brazilian bank which is Bradesco and withdraw more Brazilian money, Hialis and now we have to exchange this Hialis for Uruguayan pesos because it's really interesting actually in this town Choi this side of the road is Brazilian the Brazilian banks, Brazilian language but if you go on this side Everything is Uruguay, Spanish. And actually, on Google Maps, the border is right here. It's the official border. Right in the center of the town. Pretty cool stuff, hey? Okay, so... Now... To go and pay our invoice, change all the hellas to Uruguay and peso. And then go back to the border. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? 20 past 1. Whew. We gotta get a move on. Okay, success. The invoice for the insurance has been paid, and we got a whole load of, of Uruguayan pesos. Everything is finished with the insurance. Yes, <laughs> and they even gave us a little sticker that we can stick on our rear box. <laughs> what? Oh, look at that. Cool. Okay, so all that's left for us to do is to head back to the border, show them the policy, and I think that we're then allowed into Uruguay. <laughs> This is the temporary import permit for Uruguay. Everything is done. So we are free to enter Uruguay. Yes. <laughs> but first. It's just about lunchtime. How's Lavi's camp kitchen? It's okay. It's not too bad. A <laughs> pack of noodles. Can't go wrong. Where are you from? Theo, nice to meet you. Bye, bye, bye. Nice to meet you, Ronaldo. Nice Thank you. Look at these guys. Ida, Ronaldo, the Yamaha 250s. Look at those. Cool, eh? Very cool. So that was a nice lunch break. Nice chat with some other adventure motorcyclists. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but it's time for us to make our way into Uruguay. Woohoo! <laughs> hey! We've made it into Uruguay! <laughs> Country number eight. Yes! Right. And the people are already very welcoming and very friendly. Yeah, we had a nice chat with everybody over there, all the customs people. Those guys were really helpful, really nice. And so in the end, the only thing we had to pay for was the insurance policy, which covers us for two weeks here in Uruguay. And that cost 21 US dollars. 
Now it was a little difficult to actually pay for it, that was the hard part, but the price was really good. It was a little bit of a hustle, but three o'clock now, so <laughs> now we are ready to experience and explore Uruguay. Stopping to put our rain gear on for the second time today. Welcome to Uruguay, hey? <laughs> what, a, what a day! Unfortunately, Uruguay's weather won the first round and our audio equipment threw in the towel. But we won't let the rain stop us from giving you some interesting info about the wonderful country of Uruguay. Uruguay has been inhabited by people for 13,000 years. The predominant tribe in the area when Europeans arrived was the Charua people. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to arrive here establishing Colonio do Sacramento in 1680. But actually Uruguay as a whole was quite late to be colonized, with its capital Montevideo being established by the Spanish in the early 18th century. Uruguay finally won its independence between 1811 and 1828. It now has a population of three and a half million people, but two million live in the metropolitan area around Montevideo. The country's name derives from the Rio Uruguay, from the indigenous Guarani language, meaning the river of the bird. The official name of the country is Republica Oriental del Uruguay, or the Republic East of the Uruguay River. Uruguay is actually ranked first in the whole of Latin America in democracy, peace and low corruption, and is regarded as one of the most socially progressive countries on the continent. Time for our first stop. We've arrived at a little village called Punta del Diablo. Look at this. Such a cute place. Normally just about 1,000 people living here, but in the high season, up to 25,000 people coming here into this town a day just to enjoy the beach, enjoy the surroundings. Yeah, it's a real holiday place. I mean, this is not the day to come here for sure. <laughs> I mean, at the moment it's like somewhere on the English coast, rainy and grey, but I can imagine that when the sun's shining that this is a really cool holiday destination. Look at those cute little boats. Yeah, it's a really, really cool place. And look, you've got this uh, rocks going out into the ocean and some nice little cafes and restaurants along the front and everything's really like made in a really quaint way. It's very cool. Buenos dias! Sabes como me llamo yo, como el nombre mío? Panamá, Bakker. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Buenas, buenas. Placer, buenas. Eh. Uh, disfruten, disfruten. Bienvenido. Yo soy un envidioso, envidioso, viste. Oh, que yo quiero hacer esto de ustedes. <laughs> Getting really hungry. The yeah. noodles weren't enough. Oh, look at this. Let's see. Look at that cheese. Should we get maybe like. I don't know, how does it work? I don't know. This this cheese, you cut or no? See? See? Oh, you can cut as much as you like. Okay. With this knife. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> cheese? Ah. 370, 370 el, kilo. El, kilo. el kilo. 370 a kilo. 300 grams. grams. <laughs> yes. Wow, look at that. Cool. Bravo. See? Look at all that cheese. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. This one? What? And this one. Right, this one. Yes. Cool. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. I think we came out with a lot of stuff. <laughs> so there's some sort of quiche, some bread, some eggs. This one, I think, is a traditional sweet thing they have here in Uruguay called algo dulce. Look at that. 
It's like nuts, pastry, chocolate. Oh. Our dessert. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes. Wow. Mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Not bad? Mm -hmm. After a beautiful lunch, we continued our way south, further along the coast, where a lovely free riverside camp that we had seen on I Overlander was waiting for us near the town of Rocha. We even saw our first Uruguayan rias on the way. Amazing! Good evening guys, we made it! Happy and alive! Whee! <laughs> We've arrived here on this river here. It is still raining. It's been raining for a long time, but we've made it here to this little spot and luckily we have something to cover. Bumblebee! and our tent and our camp, so we shouldn't get too wet tonight, which is great. It was a really epic day today to cross into Uruguay. It's absolutely amazing. We had a little hurdles when it came to trying to pay for the insurance. Uh, so it took a little bit longer than expected, but we got through the border in the end and we made it here to this camp and we're here, we're in Uruguay. Yes. Yeah, That's cool. awesome. <laughs> I think it's a fisherman about to head out on a little boat. <laughs> yes. So we did about 100 miles, which is about 160 kilometers today. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. <laughs>